Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending good energy and blessings to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. Uh, we are talking about who was behind the rating sabotage, you guys. Uh, so I had other videos planned that I actually was going to talk about the episode, and I was going to talk about uh, Letitia needing Melody Cherie's master class, but, you know, there's some people, there, there seems to be some people who are going hard in the paint about the ratings being lower, and even Melody Sheree is on board that, you know, obviously some people were not able to see the episode. So what happened was, it the 100th episode of Owen's highest rated show on the network, for some reason, was not listed as a new episode, you guys. And I have to understand, why would that happen, right? Why would a show that has been out for six seasons, all of a sudden, and you know there is, everybody is doing all of these promos, there's all of this marketing, there is all of these interviews and podcasts, and all of these things that people are doing to promote this show. And even Carlos has a weekly YouTube that comes out immediately after the show airs of one of the cast members that he'll interview for around an hour or so to not only talk about the show, but talk about what that particular cast member has going on in their personal lives. So why why would the 100th episode, after all of this promotion and everything else, why wouldn't it be listed as a new episode? Make it make sense, you guys. It doesn't make sense to me. Yes, people, there were some people who were not able to see this episode that impacted the viewers, and I'm sure there will probably be more viewers uh, than the 200,000 or so, so that, you know, was reported. Uh, but that still doesn't explain why this happened. And the only conclusion I can come to is that somebody is trying to so sabotage something, right? Somebody does not want this show to continue. Somebody is tired of what is taking place on the show because it doesn't make any sense as to why this would not be listed as a new episode, right? And if you knew to just turn to own at 8 o'clock, uh, a lot of you would have seen the new episode anyways, right? But for those of you who haven't done a season recording on your DVRs, I, it didn't record because it didn't show up as a new episode, right? But even with that being said, it still showed up on YouTube. It still, you know, would replay a million times on the own network. Uh, so there still would have been opportunities to watch the episode again, which still would have raised and impacted the viewers in a positive uh, when you count the live viewings plus the additional recorded viewings and all of that stuff to be recorded for the ratings. So I... I I just feel like there's something else here, you guys. I feel like that the blackout has, you know, definitely impacted this show, uh, regardless of people trying to defend it otherwise. And I also feel as well that maybe there's somebody else at the network that wants the show to end or doesn't like the current narrative that's being put out there doesn't like that their executive producer is promoting the heck out of bravo and real housewives make it make sense you guys bravo and real housewives and married to madison and not promoting their own show except for on saturdays when they have their weekly interview like something has to give you guys right Something has to give because this isn't the first time that a new episode wasn't listed for Love and Marriage Huntsville. This is not the first time that this has happened. But it is very suspicious that this happened uh, with all of the promotion this past week that Carlos King did with Mar uh, Martel of this being the 100th episode. That this was the whole point of him going to Atlanta and trying to go to every single network in Atlanta to, you know, rehab Martel's image but also promote the 100th episode. It seems pretty clear to me that this was intentional that this was absolutely intentional for certain people not to see this episode right but not only that to sabotage the hundredth episode but somebody wants somebody gone somebody wants somebody gone and somebody is willing to not list this as a new episode to ensure it right but even with that being said I still don't think the ratings would have been that much higher. What? I would have done a video and it would have been, what, 300,000 or so? 
Like, I, 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 <laughs> there's, we have to accept that there are people who are not happy with the show. We have to accept that people would rather look at clips on Instagram or go to a content creator's page to see their review of the show as opposed to tuning into the own network. And Carlos King thought that he could bamboozle people by saying things are back to the basics. But the problem is we can tell these people do not like each other. We can tell that these hugs are not organic. We can tell that these people are fake being nice to each other all because to combat the bullying that took place against Melody Cherie. So it's not coming from a genuine place. It is coming from a place of they don't want to lose their jobs, right? But as a result of that, us viewers can see the fakery. We can see the fake businesses. We can see the fake storylines. We can see the fake nice nastiness that is taking place. And we don't want to watch it right and it's no it's no shade right it, it's just facts there's people we're tired right what was the point of the come to jesus meeting with all of the execs and everything else flying to huntsville and telling quote unquote the core six to get it together or else what was the point of that if it is not translating into success right so again uh, yes, you know, some of the viewers probably did not see it because of the episode not being listed as new. But we still have to take into account that the ratings are falling for the show. And even if the ratings hit, you know, around the numbers that it was, you know, the past couple of weeks, the ratings overall are still lower the past couple of seasons, you guys. No matter how you slice it and dice it, the ratings are still lower compared to season five and compared to season four ratings, you guys. Look it up. I'm not telling you a lie. I have the receipts, right? It's not fake news. This isn't clickbait, right? This is real that the show is not what it used to be, right? And I'm not trying to say this to ruin the show or for people to lose their jobs or things of that nature, Martel. Um, <laughs> I, I am saying this for a reason. We wanted to see successful black entrepreneurs on this show and how they navigated in their own families, but also came together as a group as being genuine friends. But what happened was some people's egos got too big for this show and they think that they're bigger than the show. So therefore they think they can act any kind of way on the show and still get support and still get their fan bases behind them. But we see through the fakery. And that's why all of these channels exist exposing Love and Marriage Huntsville because people are tired of the false storylines. Why aren't we talking about the people who are getting sued on the show and their lawsuits and all of that? Why isn't that being aired, right? Why isn't people's cheating being exposed? Why Why was it only Martell's cheating that was exposed on the show? Why did the cast decide to hide their true storylines in order to, you know, hide behind that and basically insert themselves into Martell and Melody Cherie's storyline, right? And insert themselves into the cheating drama, insert themselves into the divorce drama, insert themselves into the custody drama. Why did they decide to do that instead of sharing their authentic selves? you guys that is why we are here this is a combination of things you guys see people think that this blackout is just a result of of this season this is a result of the past couple of seasons of people being tired which is why the ratings went down you guys i so so we have to have some accountability here we have to have some accountability here and it's like here you know, we have people that we like and support for the cast. There's people that obviously we root for in this cast that want to be successful. It's nothing personal, but we have to keep it a buck that these ratings aren't what they used to be. Even if the show was listed as new, it still would not have been higher than the past couple of seasons on the show. And that is on purpose because people are still blacking out and we have to keep it a buck for what it is. So there is that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.